Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about the update of Steam version 1.15. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? If you're new to VR Essentials, very nice to meet you. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And of course, a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you among us. Now, just in case you're not familiar, Steam was developed by Valve and has become throughout the years, probably the most renowned and trustworthy platform where you can download all your favorite games and PC VR titles. <laughs> Good news for those who have ordered or received their HP Reverb G2 as Steam have updated all their binding to the latest controllers that are now available to the general mass consumer. This basically means, for example, that if you're playing Half-Life Alex and you want to use your left controller as your dominant hand to carry all your weapons, apparently there used to be a glitch before, but now, thanks to the latest binding, this has all been resolved. Now do follow the channels that will be testing various different apps using the Steam VR 1.15 update and hit the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you can get to know if potentially there are any issues that I will share with you. Apparently Steam have implemented a new type of microphone monitoring for Valve Index users which basically enables you to patch the sound from your microphone directly into your speakers so that you don't have to shout anymore when there are large environmental background sounds. For Valve Index users, all you have to do to enable or disable this option, all you have to do is go to the audio section of the Steam VR settings. <laughs> Now, good news for all of us as Steam is able to basically run all our various different PC titles at the highest potential render, depending on basically our PC's capability. So we don't have to go in and muck around so much, it will do it all automatically for us. The feature apparently also takes in consideration how much memory is left in the GPU when we try to set how high the resolution we want it to be. By the way, you may also want to go and check out some other cool videos which I uploaded to the channel very recently. One being the Ready Player 2 book, which is gonna be released very soon so go and check out what we know as to what's going to be in the next book as well as the HP Reverb G2 software update. And good news for those who are working with the OpenXR platform. If you're not familiar with what OpenXR is, it's basically going to become the next standard platform technology where developers can develop their apps using one single type of code which will be cross compatible with all the various different VR and also AR headsets. At the moment, of course, they have to adapt their code to every single different VR and AR headset which increases time in production, resources, and also cost them more money. So apparently they fixed the controller issues that apparently were not working after you started the OpenXR apps. They also fixed the application not displaying in third-party devices, including the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Throttling and prediction behavior now matches OpenVR and they also fixed the scaling issue for the projection layers. Now, of course, today we only spoke about the key updates, but if you want to go and check out all the various different things, go to the link description below the like button, which will redirect you to the official Steam VR's update page.